second year international relations student here at Mount Allison, and I'm running to be your social science senator for the year 2015-2016. Uh, um, just a little bit of background info on me. I'm currently uh, the president of Wimja Hall. Um, I also currently sit on uh, a couple of advocacy groups uh, on campus, and uh, because of my position as a Wimja Hall president, and because of the, my experience in these advocacy groups, I do feel as though I would be a good candidate to be a uh, social science senator. I have a couple po uh, points that I'd like to bring up um, that are related to my platform. Uh, the first one is ensuring and advocating and encouraging a successful and productive fall reading week. Um, the master did an amazing job in getting us to fall reading week, but it is also just on a trial basis. So we have three years to make sure that like it is it is going to be productive. Um, a perfect way to make it be a better way to make it be productive is to ensure that we have academic resources such as like MCAT, LSAT testing, um, extended library hours, um, grad course prep, things like that, so that people will be able to stay on campus, get ahead in classes, catch up in classes if they're behind, um, things like that. Uh, my second point is um, utilizing the U4 League. Currently, Mount Allison is in the U4 League. Uh, it's a group of li small liberal arts universities that includes us, <coughs> Bishop, Cinefix, and Acadia. Um, something that I've talked to a lot of people about and uh, I, I think is pretty important is the fact that since we're such a small university and since those universities are also very small, there are certain courses that are offered here and offered at, say, Acadia that Mount Allison students wouldn't be able to access, Acadia students wouldn't be able to access. And since we are so small and our programs are similar, um, it would that if we have open communication between those schools, it would be uh, it would be easy for a Mount Allison student to access uh, a course from say Bishops um, and have that course transfer here. Um, but it would be taken by correspondence, have that course transfer here, and have it not be um, pass fail or conditional pass. Um, my third point is, um, even though Ryan said that he doesn't necessarily like this point, um, continuing current math student advocacy I think is super important, just because. When, we say, when I say I'm continuing uh, current math through advocacy and advocacy that uh, my predecessors have, my predecessors I'm elected have done is because there are so many issues and also I, I'm not aware of all these issues because I'm not sitting for Senate. Um, things like, uh, things that have been brought up like uh, pass fail distribution uh, uh, courses or um, reforming the way in which we do student evaluations for teaching. Um, these are all important issues but in order to actually target them specifically, I feel as though I'd have to be sitting on Senate and I'd have to be a lot more knowledgeable than I am at this moment in time. Uh, just to conclude, I feel, I feel pretty confident that I would be able to advocate for students and represent students well. I feel like I've done it in the past and I think this is a great opportunity um, for me to, to learn how to be even a better um, citizen, a better student at Mount, Al at Mount Allison University. And I hope that next week uh, you choose to vote for me. Thank you. Good evening, fellow MASU members. My name is Sarah Murphy, um, and I'm running to be one of your social sciences senators for the 2015-2016 academic year. I'm an anthropology major and a political science minor, and I also hold a diploma um, of college studies in social sciences. So having been a member of uh, several committees advocating for students' rights in the past, I know that I can be a valuable contributor to um, our Senate. Being a senator requires effective research and communication skills so that the concerns of the student body can be advocated for in a respectful, direct, and conscientious manner. If elected, I will work with the Senate and Council to ensure that your concerns are heard and that your issues are resolved. I decided to come to Mount A because of its strong academics and its outstanding student life. Since arriving here in August, I have been noticing and reflecting on several issues that can and will be improved. First, I want to work to improve academic advising because the current model does not offer students the support they need. I am prepared to work alongside the VP Academic and her team to change the academic advising and academic mentorship programs um, so that they meet the needs of the students. Further, since not all courses at Mount Allison are offered regularly, I will work to ensure that courses um, outlined in the academic, academic calendar are offered at regular intervals. I plan on meeting with students and faculty members to revise how regularly courses are offered and to clarify any misleading information found in the academic calendar. Finally, I will strive to establish and expand skills workshops to help students develop specific strengths. Through working with various centers and societies at Mount A, I hope to offer students a wider variety of accessible workshops that will allow students to strengthen areas such as effective presenting, resume etiquette, and networking. Of course, advocating for your concerns will be my priority. 
I want to hear what you think can be improved, and I want to try my hardest to make those improvements. I'm a very dedicated and conscientious individual, and I promise to act as such no matter which concept I'm advocating for. I will ensure that all claims I bring forward are well-researched, reviewed, and presented in a comprehensive and academic manner. Furthermore, I will turn to the appropriate resources and team members so results can be achieved efficiently. I work best in the team environment, and I am convinced that I will be able to work effectively as a social sciences senator next year. Thank you very much for coming out tonight, and don't forget to vote so we can improve our academic and student life. Thank you.